Uh, this morning, uh, we're joined by India Carney, Megan Lindsay, and of course, Marquette native Joshua Davis. First off for you three, I want to congratulate you all making it into the top six. Great accomplishment. And uh, I, I know everybody's very proud of you. You're doing great out there. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, and uh, Joshua, right off the bat, I'm gonna, we're going to get in on you. Everybody here in Michigan loves you. I think you might be the most popular man in the state right now. And in the Upper <laughs> Peninsula, that's probably tenfold. So here in the Upper Peninsula, we're going to rewind here. Two weeks ago, you found yourself in the bottom three. And uh, as the song went, you didn't back down. You made it through to the next round. What did you take away from that experience moving on in the competition? You know, it's, it's a really stressful experience. Um, you know, as, as Indy knows, it's like you're up there with, with two other people that uh, you really respect, people that you become great friends with and some, some of the best singers in, in the country. And um, so it's, it's really stressful. Um, but at this point, you know, we're all going home to wonderful things. And so um, when, you know, when America uh, saved me, I mean, it's, it's an incredible feeling. It's, it's really gratifying. Um, you know, I, I never thought that I'd make it this far in this in this competition. Um, I didn't know that there was such a wide audience for what I did, um, and you know, I, I know that Michigan's pulling for me really strong, and and so it just it it felt great, it, and it gave me a lot of it charged me up. It gave me a lot a lot of momentum, and uh, I, you know, I feel really excited for for what's to come. All right, now you took that momentum and you turned it into coming in in the top half this week in the voting. How did that feel getting off the stage pretty quick in the results this week? <laughs> it felt great. It's it's hard. To, it's, it's totally overwhelming. You know, I was, it wasn't. Yeah, I, it almost felt like I wasn't involved in the show. Uh, <laughs> and you know, th then just watching the show and like I, mean, I was like backstage for all the other because we're we're like we're a big family, you know. And and so every Tuesday, my mom calls it Trauma Tuesdays because it's like <laughs> because it's just like it's so it's so stressful and uh, and you don't want to see anybody go home because everybody is so talented. Um, so it's you know it's tough to just sit there and watch and wait, but but it was it was a relief to, you know, and it, it just felt it felt good. It felt it felt really gratifying to um, to know that uh, to know that I can come back from that and know that people are behind me and and uh, you know especially of course people in Michigan. All right, well um, you 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 have uh, Adam Levine of course as your coach, and I think by now that's probably old hat to you. You're used to that, but last week Usher stepped in and helped out. What was that like uh, having Usher uh, help you coach this week? Honestly, it was it was maybe my favorite moment of the voice so far. Um, I'm not I wasn't that familiar with his his catalog or his, his coaching style before I went in, but but um, I was really really moved and and you know affected by by him and what he had to say and just his way. I mean he. He was did his homework. He knew all sorts of things about me. Um, he knew kind of what I was going for, what you know, what my style was. He had he had watched some of my YouTube videos and knew knew about my family and um, did an incredible job blending the the art and the craft of what we do um, and just um, connecting me to the song. It was it was a really uh, inspiring experience. All right, Josh. And uh, speaking of gaining popularity, you know, Usher knew you. It seems like na nationally, a lot of people are getting to know your name, kind of household getting to that point at this point. And I follow you on Twitter, of course. I've been seeing a few uh, uh, concerts that you usually play at tweeted you recently. What's that like to be getting that kind of celebrity and having these uh, things that you had idolized for so long all of a sudden giving you these shout outs? You know, um, well, the, the other day, um, yeah, I got tweeted by Newport Folk Festival, which, which to me is like, I mean, that's like one of the like classic folk festivals in in the country, and you know we have an amazing lineage of folk festivals in Michigan, of music festivals in Michigan. You know that I grew up going to, um, but Newport has always been. I mean, it's, that's that's where you know Bob Dylan plugged plugged in and got booed off the stage. That's that's where you know um, lots of people have had had their starts. That's where the, the the folk revival happened. Mississippi John Hurt was on that stage, and and uh, so to to. To have them, you know, recognize uh, what I do and, and bringing bringing roots music to to a wider audience is really really gratifying. All right, now this one for the group here, guys. Uh, moving into the next week, I've heard the rumors. You're all it's switching up a little bit. You guys get two songs each this week. What can we expect from each of you? India. Me? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> we've been taking turns. Who's yeah. going to start? Um, you can expect some new stuff. Um, I get to try out some like improv uh, during one of my songs and and I'm picking current songs that I'm hoping the viewers can can relate to and and I'm hoping that the messages will really resonate with um, with everyone. Mm. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, we get two songs, which is nice, you know, because I think we all have different things that we can do. And so for me, it's just about showing um, the different facets of my voice and, and my style. And, and I'm kind of doing, I'm doing two things that are literally on <laughs> two different ends of my spectrum. So um, <laughs> it'll be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. We, we're going to go from classy to sassy this week. Oh. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, I mean, for me, I mean, they, these guys said it, you know, but for, for me, it's, um, you know, uh, I, I'm, I, you know, what I do is I play, I play like, you know, two sets a night. And uh, so it's, it's hard for me to go up and, and be totally on for one, you know, th three minute or two minute, you know, little chunk of time. Um, so I'm excited to have a couple songs, be able to warm up a little bit and stretch out a little bit. Um, uh, it's it's going to be a really fun week. All right, and uh, finally here, uh, Josh, we're uh, Upper Peninsula big fans here. Do you have anything to, you'd like to say to your fans out here as you move on to the next week? Maybe uh, pull some votes, do some campaigning here? <laughs> um, uh, I'd like to ask my dad to stop texting me as Hollywood Davis. He keeps calling me <laughs> Hollywood Davis. That'd be great. That'd be great. Um, no, you know, um, I mean, it's my, it's my, you know, it's where I was born. Um, I, I still consider it, you know, um, it's so close to my heart. It's, it's some of the most beautiful country in the world. And um, um, I'm so thankful to be, you know, I feel honored to be representing Michigan and especially the Upper Peninsula on, uh, out here in, in, in Hollywood. <laughs> Well, Josh, it's an honor to have you representing us. I see you're the only one there with coffee, and I just want to throw it out there. Uh, here at TV6, we have pretty, well, it's average coffee, but we'd let you drink it here if you come join us in the morning when you get back. All right, sounds good. It's a, pl it's a plan. <laughs> All righty. Well, India, Lindsay, and Josh, I want to wish you guys the best of luck as you move on next week. Despite how things go, I know you're on to successful careers, and thanks for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you. Thanks so much.